Hey everybody, I just got in these Tangent Scale Models HO G41A Coil Steel Gondolas. And I know she can't see with the glare, but I got a Conrail with hoods and a without hood, no folks Southern. And I got the coils to go with the open car. And also in the box was a uh, Tangent sticker. Seems like stickers are coming very popular in trains. Should I get my like, track stickers made? And they give you a little card here showing you some of the new stuff. I, I always love the Illinois Central Golf uh, paint scheme, that orange with that rail eye. And I don't really, I don't collect Illinois Central, but you know, as, ever since I was a kid, I always thought that was a cool paint scheme. And then here's a bunch of their uh, other offerings. I mean, Tangent does a very good job. You know, people go crazy for scale trains, but Tangent is right up there, in my opinion. So, here's the coils. There's the No Folk Southern open coil car. And then we have the Conrail with the hoods. And I'll take these out and I'll show them to you. So, here we have them out of the package. Um, in the package, you just have the plastic hard shell packing with soft plastic wrap. There's no uh, diagrams or anything inside that show the parts or anything like that. And you do get spare, four spare um, roller bearing caps because these cars, both of them, have the turning bearing caps. Very nice. Let me get these out of the way. So first up, let's look at the, uh, the Conrail. Zoom in on that. You can see all the quality print. The end detail. Hope my hands aren't too much in the way. The top detail. There's your brake end. And I'll just spin around so you can see both sides. And put some light on there. Very nicely done. And I love anything that's Conrail. Because, you know, I grew up in the 70s and Conrail took over. And I hung out with crews down at the local plant that they switched out in. The Agway plant. And there was a Conrail crew. And so here's your hoods. They're plastic. And by the way, these cars are really hefty. I'm, I'm really impressed by their weight. Let's go on. We don't go on that. Oh, there's a little ridge. So let's go on that way. And like so. There we go. Yeah, I don't you don't want to uh there's so much details on these you don't really want to push it. And then we have the NS without hood. It's interesting you got these little yellow rails and the white stripe. And it's very similar to the uh, Conrail car. And it does come in different um, road numbers and there's different um, railroad names you can get these in. And of course, do you think I remember what they were? No. But if you go on their website, you can see great photos of all the cars that are available. And then we have the coil, the steel coil loads. These are not weighted, they're just plastic. I figure it'd be more interesting to have loads in there than if it's open. That's pretty cool. So yeah, these are very impressive. And uh, Let's go put them on the track and just see how they uh, sound or how they look when they go by. Now that I have these on the track, let's take the KD height gauge and let's just check the coupler height on these. And dead on. And just for interest, let's see the other side. That's pretty darn good. All right. And also, let's just check the other car, 
because you know there's multiple modes a lot of times for these yeah that on now i'm going to assume this side's right on yep beautiful all right now that they're on here you can see the bearings are spinning yeah very nice all right well i hope you enjoyed just this quick little look at both these cars and they're still available at tangent.com if you'd like to pick one up